Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, once again with a pouch from Android Goat, from the big giant box of Android Goat knives that he sent me. I'm trying to get through them so I can send these back to him. It's only been three months. We gotta get through them. I think this is another bag. It's really heavy. It's a very full pouch. It's not a drop. I think it's a bag, but we gotta find out for sure together right now. <laughs> Right, another wacky, crazy bag knife. Maybe, maybe. Seems seems that way. Just based on the clip, I can already tell. Oh, ooh, ah. Okay, another one up in there. Is it? Bye. Okay then. Bag knives. Bodega. Bodacious is more like it. That's a thicky. Damn boy. Huge G10 backspacer. This is just like the Big Knives Astio. I did a video on that a while back. This came from the same box. Um, stainless steel frame lock. G10 everywhere else. Stainless steel pocket clip with the big ball thing. Not my favorite kind of pocket clip. Crazy jimping back here. Big old flipper tab. Big old flipper there. Nice texturing though. Nice little patch of this kind of a faux inlay machined into the G10. And all over the backside here. Kind of looks like leather. Like boots or some shit? I don't know, dude. Don't quote me on that. It's been a long day. Um, Very nice. Looks to be a flipper and a flipper only, but there's only, you know, we'll have to find out for sure. That's heavy, dude. Close size comparison. Spider-Co Bear 3, Tactile Knife Co Rockwell. Yeah, bigger than both. Much taller and girthier. Thicker. Longer. In every way, it is bigger than both of these knives. This is a big chungus. A big chonky boy. Centering looks good. Centering looks nice. Let's flicker open. <laughs> that's actually not a bad looking knife okay there's look i don't i don't hate that we have a nice hollow grind future me blade seal on this thing probably d2 that's what they put on the other ones um yeah speed holes everywhere speed holes speed holes it's the big way i beg your pardon sir please or thank you slight poon just the most subtle of poons the subtlest of poons on this guy um okay very nice, nice clean drop point. Looks good. Open size comparison. Spider Co Pair 3, yeah. Got about two inches on the pair three. Tact on Ivco Rockwall, same story here. Same story here, folks. This is a substantial piece of cutlery. No two ways about it. Ergo's in hand. It's so thick, dude. Jesus. Four finger grip, easy peasy, locked and loaded. Hot spots here from the clip and down here from the jimping on the lock bar. But uh it's fine. I it's not uncomfortable. I can just feel it, right? Big finger choil, choke up, nestling behind that poon. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. That feels nice, actually. That feels really good, really comfy, well-balanced. Pinch grip, all day. Forward finger choil makes for damn good pinch grip. All day, I'm nestled into this um, this fuller area right here with my fingies. Oh, yeah, all day. Big knives, well done. I applaud you. Okay, ergos are solid. Lock up, solid. Super solid. No internal milling <laughs> at all. That's why it's so damn heavy. Um, action on this guy, running on, ooh yeah, ceramic bearings, it's killer detent, great noises too, holy crap, that makes a good noise, thwack, very nice, detent's money, can I reverse flick it, oh yeah dude, sure can, thumb flick, yes, yes, big, uh, Mr. Big sir, th this is what I'm talking about, this is the kind of fidget factor I need on all the big knives. That's nice. These are made overseas, made in China. I believe this one's the same. G10, stainless steel, all that good stuff. D2 blade. Um, they're relatively expensive for the materials at play, but they're really well put together uh, and really well thought out. They the, Visually, they might not be for everybody. They're kind of out there, kind of wacky, tabacky. But as a tool, as a knife, yeah, dude. Listen to these acoustics. My ear's ringing. Nice drop on it. Drops to the nail. Close it all the way. Yeah. Very mechanical, clicky, and clacky. Woo! There you go. All right, shit, son. Damn, boy. Very, very nice. I'm impressed. I am 
not disappointed by this one. This one might be my favorite of the bunch. I like the mini glimpse a lot, but I couldn't reverse flick it or thumb flick it. You know what I mean? This one, I can. And I like that. I like that quite a lot. You know what I mean? Very good. Well, we have a nice hollow grind. Again, future me D2, I believe. Thank you. Uh, I do want to cut something with it, so let me grab some paper right quick. Oh, let's see if this old bodega she'll, uh, she'll cut, maybe. Maybe? Oh, God, yeah. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. It's interesting what Beg is doing. They're giving you kind of that high-end titanium frame lock build and feel, but with budget materials at a cheaper price. Does that make sense? Um, it's interesting. Yeah, dude, that thing cuts. Ribbons, pal. Hello? Oh, uh, whoop. Of course, I jack it up right at the end. Yeah, oh yeah. The Todd, not the Todd Beg, but the Beg Knives Bodega. And she is bodacious, let me tell you, pal. That's sick. I will leave links to this down below. Not sure future me price on this guy. I'm guessing 150 and up. It's got to be, right? 120 to 200, somewhere in that range. I have no idea. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Subscribe down below. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. But that is it. The bodega, baby. I'm impressed. I'm not disappointed. Thank you, Andrew Gov, for sending this stuff to me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.